Hi guys, do you ever find yourself with an abundance of potatoes? I do. I've got rando potatoes from my mom, a huge bag of russet potatoes, and some leftover um, yellow potatoes. I've just got way too many potatoes, and they're starting to get to the point where I need to use them or start planting them. And today I learned something pretty exciting. My food processor has more than one use. I will show you. We're gonna make hash browns. Step one, I need to peel the potatoes. All right, then slice them in half and place them in this bowl of cold water to remove any excess starch. Put the peels in the compost bucket. The potatoes have been resting in the cold water for a bit to get rid of the excess starch. This is my food processor. It's not too impressive, but it gets the job done. So today I learned you can use this to shred stuff with a food processor. OMG, no more wasting my time with the silly shredder. So let me get this hooked up and I will show you how this works. Hi, Jordan. Hi. Those of you who are already familiar with this trick, don't judge. I am really excited. So, I'm gonna put my first potato in here. Potato number two. So some of this stuff didn't get quite shredded, but that's okay. That's the stuff on the top. Here's more good stuff. This is more like potato chips. I could make potato chips. Perfect potato shreds, ready to make hash browns. I'm gonna make this a full-on meal. So I've got my chicken tenders here. I've got my hash browns uh, soaking in cold water again to remove any extra starch. And on the stove behind me, I am heating up some oil in the cast iron skillet. So I'm going to be making some garlic butter chicken tenderloins with some side of hash browns. I'll probably get some vegetables in there to make it a little more healthy. All right, I'm going to season the chicken breasts or chicken tenderloins with cayenne and paprika. Make it nice and flavorful. The butter is basically melted. Just to make sure it's all around here. I'm going to add the chicken tenders one at a time. The chicken has been sitting well for a couple minutes and now I'm going to add a bit, just a bit, more butter. There we go. Gonna add some garlic. Basil, a the chicken. Oregano. Good 
green onions. Oh yes. Salt. The chicken tenderloin are done. The hash browns have been rinsing in cold water and I just drained it. So now it's time to shape them into patties and fry them up on that same skillet that I used to cook the chicken tenderloin. It's definitely not getting high marks in the looks department, but let's see how it tastes. Pretty good. And there we've got it. Completely homemade hash browns and chicken tenderloins ready for dinner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.